Many different chart elements comprise space. For example, in this chart to the right, on the sheet called Shapes Word Art, we can click the title. That actually encompasses a space, and we can color that background if we wish. The outer part of a chart is called the chart area. That, too, we can make a bit different by applying a different color. Same thing with plot area in the middle. Even a legend, like here, is in a box, although we don't always see the box. So all of these can be formatted in different ways. And we do this by way of the Format tab in the ribbon. So, for example, I might want to change that outer green color. I'll click in Chart Area, and under Shape Styles here, we've got lots of choices. Sometimes they appear immediately, sometimes it takes longer. But as they appear, and as I'm sliding the mouse around, even though we're obscuring part of the chart, we do see the colors changing in that perimeter area there. And at different times, you'll be a little bit unsure as to what's going to look best. Maybe that'll look a little bit better. The ones on the bottom row here are slightly raised. It looks as if the data is on a pedestal. So we can do that. The inner one, the plot area, we could do the same thing there. I think for some of us, maybe this is just overkill or it's extra work. So you'll have to decide how valuable it is. We can do this with the legend, as I suggested. Let's change that color. Different background color there, maybe. Now, at times, you might want to move the chart around because a lot of these features, as we're trying to apply them, fall down on top of the area. So for the moment, I'll move this over here, move that other chart aside. And the blue background doesn't look so good, so we'll click in Plot Area and, again, reconsider that. Now, at different times, I think you recognize how much time this is going to take. I don't like that gray column there, so how about a bright yellow or orange? Maybe that's going to show up better, but it does match the outer area, so maybe that's not so great. And we can't have it the same color as others, so maybe that's too strong. But anyway, you've got the idea that we can easily do this. And on different charts, it will make a difference just as to how the chart looks. I'll click back on the sheet called Yearly Data, the first sheet in this workbook. Maybe the blue inner area should be contrasted with the outer area. Let's change the inner part. That's the plot area. Click inside. Again, we see these colors popping up. And maybe... Uh, Gold color, well, we've got gold columns, wouldn't work so well. And you can see already, even though we're not viewing the entire chart, that we can make these changes. Maybe a lighter green would look a little bit better there, or a darker green as you decide. So lots of choices there, lots of possibilities for also making some bad choices. And if you have inserted shapes, we did that in a prior movie, but if you go to the Insert tab, that's one way to do this. Click the Shapes button here. If you're adding a shape at any time, it, too, has its own contextual format tab, too. And even though we're not using a chart at the moment, we can certainly make the same kinds of changes there, too. So at different times, you'll want to change the background colors by way of the format tab, shape styles. You can also change by using shape fill other colors. If you didn't like the colors you saw before, we certainly have a lot of choices here. And if we don't like any of these, how about more fill colors? You may have seen this box here, 27 different colors. Maybe I want a really bright green on the edge there. And on second thought, maybe I don't. But it's available there. And also, shape outline. This is more subtle, and we might choose a contrasting color here. I'll use bright yellow. You can probably barely see that on the perimeter, but we could come back here and use a different weight or thickness here. So we can see that yellow border a lot more prominently there. Uh, that is not my favorite combination of colors, and I probably wouldn't keep that. But keep in mind, not only can we make changes here to the chart area, the plot area, legends, we can do it with individual columns, practically any element within a chart, we can make changes on the Format tab by way of Shape Styles and by way of uh, Shape Fill and Shape Outline, depending upon what is selected. Rephrase. So there's a legend selected. We could change the color background or change here the color included that if we don't like those choices or change the Shape Outline. Lots of possibilities here for making color changes on a chart.